So last night, and you can go to my Instagram and see pictures of uh, from my my holiday party. We had to do it early because we're, we and I'm just not here a lot after Thanksgiving. So we got and we have a, a new executive producer, and so we were able to get everybody together from the show, and we had to get together. Had a lot of food. I had too much food. Food was amazing. Too much food. I mean, I was just stuck with it last night when it was over. I wanted everybody to take a bunch of stuff. But it's all, it was all so good and good for you. Yeah, but I mean, you guys should take them more home. I should have taken some of those sweet potato slider thingies, but I was too scared I was going to drop them again, so I'm not taking anything. Okay, you go for your thoughts. I thought it was amazing. Like, I thought it was perfect. We, like, everybody mingled and had cocktails before and just kind of hung out, tried to move around. I loved being able to catch up. I got to catch up with Eddie's wife a lot and talk about their foster kids and what's going on with them, and that was nice to see her and um, Lunchbox's wife. And it was just fun to have everybody there in the same room. And then dinner, awesome. I thought the way you had it set up. And then I didn't know where we were going to eat. Like, I thought we were maybe gather on the table. I was like, how are we going to squeeze everybody? But you had everybody get the food at the dining room table and then go just circle around in the living room. And I thought that was fun. That was fun. So we just got to, like, plop down wherever. I just didn't have enough room. But it okay. made it comfortable and casual and just, yeah, I mean... I, I thought it was great. And then the music, Travis Denning was so good. And that was fun. I mean, you had a good pace going. Like it wasn't, didn't feel too rushed. Because I worry about that with you. Like, like we, I'm pushing it along too fast? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Next event. I, Next I do thing. think Travis was picking up his guitar to play another song. And you were like, hey, Travis Denning, everybody. <laughs> well, one, I did that. And then he played another song too. At one point I was like, there he is, right, Travis Denning. And then he was like, well, for my next song I'm going to do here. And I was like, all right, all right, we can do one more. We do one more. But uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Th- yeah, I thought that you executed your time management well or whatever you want to call it. And then, yeah, pretty much after that, everyone had a little bit of dessert and swiftly went out the door. Well, it started. You at- disappeared to your room. Yeah, you did. Yeah, where did you go? It started at six. <laughs> Lauren Elena called me and was like, I'm having a little trouble right now. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, okay. Okay. Didn't know that. Yeah. And I was like, well, she's just in that finale. We could dancing with the star. She's like, can you talk right now? And I was like, okay. I know all of you guys. I don't have to be like, here's a shoulder massage on your way home. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she was like, hey, I'm struggling for a second. So I just went in the room and talked to her for 15 minutes. Um, I came out the very, very end, though. I, I caught some of the guys on the way out. But when her friend's like, hey, I need to talk to you. Totally. You guys are all, you can handle yourselves. Yeah. Um, so it was six o'clock was the start. Everybody was pretty right on time. Amy was the latest. I was trying to teach you what casually late is. You were the latest. Lesson learned. Yeah. No, no, I was no, stressing no, out. No be lessons the latest, been Amy. learned. Okay, just I, wondering. I, 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 Some people got there right at six, and I was like, uh, swing. Yeah. Oh, come on. It's awesome. No, you'd really love it if they got there at 545. Right on time. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. So, we, we, you know, we, it's six o'clock. I, I got way too, there's way too much food, way too much alcohol, but I guess that's so just good. what you do when you have a party. Yes. You have too much. Yes. Yeah. That's great. Better to have too much than too little. Mm. And, yeah. So, what are your thoughts? You share your thoughts. Um, the dog has never seen so many people at once in his life. Mm-hmm. And it was just like, he just too much. He's bouncing around like crazy. So he was out for like 10 seconds. I put him back in his room. Um, so the, the dog was good. Travis was good. I, it was time for everybody to go. It was, it was 830. And I was like, hmm, how do I get everybody out of here? With Because it was also a Tuesday night. And so I went to Amy. I said, Amy, if you just announce you're leaving, everybody's going to go follow oh. you. Oh. And so Amy goes, all right, good night, everybody. <laughs> and she starts hugging everybody, and that was everybody's cue. And just like that, everybody just boop ba doop 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 It worked. And, and then, well, a couple people left first, and they could, and there were some lingerers, like Eddie, who lingers everywhere. <laughs> but they couldn't get out because, again, we were all blocked I don't in. have a big, like, parking lot. Yeah. In my, and people were blocked in, and so I was like, oh, I can't get out. And I was like, oh, all you guys must have, you got to go and boom Sorry. cars out. Yeah, we did a group picture, but Raymundo left early oh, I and hate wasn't that. in the group picture. I yeah, know. I had to beat traffic. I just wanted to make sure I was going to be able to beat make it traffic. out. Traffic? There's no traffic. Right in the middle of traffic, <laughs> getting playing, you see Ray just walk out the front door. Of you the did house. a Houdini. I tried to do it as quiet as possible. I grabbed my chick. She'd already had a couple, and her heels were so loud. I know, but, but of course, we all wanted to say bye to her because we don't get to always see her. So we're like hugging, and I'm like, wait, they're leaving. This and it was sad. in a living room. It wasn't like we didn't see you guys walk out. It was a decision that needed to be made. I thought, do I make a scene and say bye to everybody or just walk out? I went with the walkout. I know, but you missed the picture, and I want to Photoshop him in. Just insert a little Raymundo? Yes. <laughs> I bet Mike D could probably do a funny one yeah. and, and put it up there. Um, but it was fun. I'm glad everybody came. Glad we could do it. The question is, was it too early for Christmas music? Because I was playing Christmas music the second half of the party. 
And it's not even Thanksgiving yet. Yeah, no. It was, oh, yes, this song played, and it was amazing. In fact, Ray's girlfriend and I, we were jamming out, and Hillary, we, we were pumped this song came on. We're ready for it. You got us in the spirit. I'm I'm here for Christmas now. Hmm. And, yeah, I thought everything was great. I thought he did a great job, guys, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. You definitely got the ball rolling for Christmas music. Because mm-hmm. I listened to it on the way home. Thank you for having us. So thanks, man. We had about 20 people there. I was happy my house was big enough for everybody. Yeah. I was, I was worried. I was like, can I fit 20 people? I have 20 chairs. I don't. How do you have a party for food when you don't have a, a table big enough? Yeah, that's tricky. Right, like you did. You just had everybody casually hang out in your living room and, you know, sit on the fireplace and sit on the floor and sit on the chair, like it, sit on the couch. Like it was, it was welcoming. Like I liked that feel of it. It wasn't too formal. Like we all got dressed up and it was fun, but it wasn't like stuffy or formal. Like I think it was good for us. I'm personally happy that we've added that into our yearly thing like last year was kind of the first one ish and then this year second and i hope like it's an annual thing and i would encourage other people to work together if they can get together like that it's just something easy to try to do it i think it's good for us you want to chip in you like we you got a mouse in your pocket what are you talking about (laughs) i'm glad we are doing it and yes i helped pick out the menu Yeah, he's talking about financial yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's what he's talking about he doesn't care about picking out menus well other people listen you decided to have it and host it. And I said thank you a couple of minutes, like 30 seconds ago, said thank you so much for having us. And then said, I'm so glad we're doing it. Mm-hmm. And then I encouraged others to do I'm it. I'm giving but it you a hard time. I know, but I'll, you hard time. I'll throw it out there. You don't. It doesn't have to be done where if you're hosting, you have to pay for everything. You could have people from your work come over and everybody potluck style. I did get White Claw on text right before. I was like, <laughs> I got plenty of White Claw, dude. Dude, that's yeah. so... I have so much White Claw in my fridge right mm-hmm. now. I'm about three miles where I live from you. I'm coming back over for you. You can have everything. Yeah! What? I don't drink. What am I going to do with it? I'm just saying, yeah, your fridge was stocked, dude. You don't need it like that. How much White How long will White Claw stay good? Forever. You got six months. Then why would oh, I give it away right now? I could just let that. it sit there, huh? Just hang on to it. But I was just saying, if it's in the way of your health food and all the other stuff you eat. My health, health food. food. Ray, what would you think about it? I thought it was awesome. Honestly, I wish it was on a Friday night. Then I could yeah, have actually too. drank. I'd, me and my chick would have done an Uber over there. We could have used the pool. I mean, there could have been a lot of other <laughs> options. Lunchbox did hit me before. I was like, should we bring swimming swimming trunks and clothes? Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to know if the pool was heated if we were going swimming afterwards, but I was told no swimsuits. There was no swimming. There's no, no, gosh, no. I thought um, that would have been fun. Scuba Steve is our, our new executive producer. Hey, Ray, have him come over to the microphone for a second. Because he came and it was kind of his first time to hang out with everybody. Yeah. He's been here with the show for a week and kind of been learning as it's going. Hey, Steve, how did you feel about last night? I thought it was great. The food was fantastic. You guys are a great group of people to be around. I, I had a, a great time. What do you? How do you feel about the whole group here? You've been here a week. If I were to say, what's up with Amy, what do you say, Scoop Steve? Amy is a pleasure to be around. Okay, he's, he's learning. I did sit and talk with him. And I was learning like, what? He's learning us individually. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did sit with him and kind of talk about every person. We had one of those, like, here's this person, here's their... You know, what they're good at. Mm-hmm. And uh, what about Lunchbox? Lunchbox, I think, is a riot. Him and I have a great time. We laugh a lot. Eddie? Eddie and I are on a father level, so we get each other with kids and everything. <laughs> What's your deal? You have, a, you have a baby? I have a kid who's a year and a half, correct, yeah. Uh, boy or girl? He's a boy. And how's the move coming here? <sighs> it's very stressful, but I think we got a good handle on it. My wife is staying at home right now, so we're able to kind of work on those things where I can focus on the job. My son is in San Francisco, so I do miss the heck out of him. But other than that, everything's great. Your son is in San Francisco right now? He's, yeah, he's with grandma right now. He get a place? Is he get- <laughs> <laughs> he's on his own? He's, yeah, he's getting an apartment. He's that on was, his own. That was quick, man. <laughs> so no. he's, he's one and a half, is what you yeah. said? Yeah. yeah. And then you're bringing him here like next week. <laughs> yeah, we're picking up for Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah, just here you go. Have fun. Do you just mail him? How does that work? How do you get a one and a half year old here from San Francisco? Uh, we're going to have to fly and go pick him up. We thought about FedEx, but that would be too difficult. And your wife, what do you think about last night? She thought it was great. My biggest concern with her is coming here, you know, ripping herself from her family and all that kind of stuff. But I told her everyone here is really cool. You can you know, have a great time with them. And she's looking to kind of get involved in the group. And she said you guys are very pleasure. So it was fun. She's hung out with us two nights in a row. Yeah, she liked you guys. Charity yeah. event the night before and then last night at the house. Yeah, you guys are great. I, re- I really mean that. You guys are a great group of people and it's really cool to be here. And you guys are very welcoming and I really appreciate everything. All right, give it a couple weeks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there he is. All right, That's Steve. Right. On Monday night, I think we were talking, and I said, so what do you think, like, at the charity event? And he was like, yeah, I mean, everything's just so amazing. I said, you just got here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just it's, it's just got to be weird for him, too, because we've been together for so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of we, this The uh-huh. group, like, Amy and I have been together for how long? Like, 14-ish, almost. Yeah, years. Mm-hmm. 
14 years. And to hop in a group where everyone's been together, been friends for so long, because this show didn't come together because of a bunch of radio people. We didn't have any idea how to do radio. We're just a bunch of friends. And then to come in, and so that's tough. It's tough, tough to move cities. So we're rooting for you, Steve. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, there he is. <laughs> first time ever on the air, too. Look at him. There he is. Yeah. First time on the air. Nailed it. It's about the show.